National Vaccine Information Center, Wikipedia article audio. The National Vaccine Information Center is a U.S.-based non-profit anti-vaccination organization which has been widely criticized as a leading source of vaccine misinformation and fear-mongering. While NVIC describes itself as the oldest and largest consumer-led organization advocating for the institution of vaccine safety and informed consent protections, it promotes false and misleading information including the fraudulent claim that vaccines cause autism, and its campaigns portray vaccination as risky, encouraging people to consider alternatives. Background Criticism The organization was founded under the name Desatisift Parents together in 1982, 5. The organization was co-founded in 1982 by Jeff Schwartz, Barbara Lou Fisher 2009 lawsuit against Paul Offutt, and Kathy Williams under the name, Desatisift Parents Together, eight each of them had observed the health of one of their children deteriorate at some point after receiving a round of the DPT vaccine, and had watched a television broadcast of the film DPT. Vaccine roulette which drew an erroneous, 1 to 6 causal link between the two, Fisher and Williams each called the television station. After the broadcast, and Fisher was given Wallace's contact information by the station, 6 to 8 in 1985, Fisher and Harris Coulter CO authored a book, DPT, A Shot in the Dark which asserted an association between the whole cell pertussis vaccine in the DPT shot and autism. The CDC now recommends the newer acellular pertussis vaccines, and whole cell pertussis vaccines are no longer used in the U.S. though for unrelated reasons. In the early 1980s, the organization joined with the American Academy of Pediatrics to draft the original legislation for the National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act of 1986, which created a federal vaccine injury compensation program, mandated that doctors give parents vaccine benefit and risk information, and required the recording and reporting of vaccine injuries and deaths. The organization changed its name to the National Vaccine Information Center in the early 1990s. 8. Journalist Michael Spector has described the NVIC as NVIC asserts that there has been inadequate research into the link between the rise in the number of children diagnosed with autism and mass vaccination programs. There have, however, been a number of peer-reviewed studies and meta-analyses which have shown no correlation between vaccine administration and autism diagnosis. Skeptic and science communicator Phil Plate notes that while on their site they take vaccine injuries as given, the litany of effects is interesting, given that to the best of my knowledge none of them has actually been linked to vaccines in real medical studies. The NVIC received criticism in April 2011 for ads that it placed on a jumbotron in Times Square. The ads criticized childhood immunization and promoted an alternative medicine website. In a letter to CBS, the owner of the jumbotron, the American Academy of Pediatrics stated, by providing advertising space to an organization like the NVIC, you are putting thousands of lives of children at risk. A controversial ad produced by NVIC regarding preventive measures for influenza was aired on some Delta Airlines flights, prompting the president of the American Academy of Pediatrics to write a letter to the CEO of Delta on November 4, 2011, urging Delta to remove these harmful messages. An online petition was also set up to urge Delta to remove the ads. The refusal of Delta Airlines to immediately stop showing the ad prompted the Institute for Science and Medicine to protest, calling the decision 